Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Gavin Jewell, and today, along with my friend William, uh, we will be introducing the world of internships to you guys today. It's mostly going to be for the younger students here trying to get into the workforce. So, first of all, a lot of students have trouble finding internships, mostly where to look and how to look for them. So, you have your main um, popular websites that everybody loves to use. Everybody has LinkedIn, which is a popular one, along with Monster, and which is not really thought of as a search engine for jobs, but Facebook is also huge into finding internships. Um, some of the less known ones that are very uh, college oriented that specifically look for ones for college students are gonna be um, College Monster, which is a very unpopular website that not really not many people know about. Um, you also have your ZipRecruiter, which is more college oriented, along with collegerecruiter.com. Um, there are many other ones that you can use. Uh, as we were saying earlier, connections are everything. You can get an internship through Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, if you know the right people. It's just wherever you can get your name out, get it out. Um, Next thing that we're going to be looking for is what should you look to gain from your internships? What kind of knowledge? So uh, basically you're looking to kind of learn how it is to put your school taught skills into an everyday uh, skills. But where, um, where you're doing stuff like say you're doing accounting work instead of taking and trying to do solutions for different uh, examples, now you're actually putting it into real life situations. Um, you're also going to be looking for recommendations and how to work with people in the workplace. Get a feel for what your industry is like or get a feel for how certain people work in certain ways. Um, new connections and a greater sense of professionalism. Many students don't know how it is to act in a job or in your first um, experience. Uh, this will give you a great knowledge about how to present yourself, how to dress, how to speak, how to talk, and how to use your uh, mannerisms with people around you. Um, more confidence in your career direction. You're going to learn how everything works. You're going to see the day-to-day -day operation. You may like it, or you may not like it. You may have thought, wow, I really want to be an actor, or you started learning your lines and thought, wow, I really don't want to be an actor anymore. This is a lot of work. Um, you also get feedback. People tell you how you do. You can't tell yourself, oh, I'm the best person in the world. Everybody can say that about themselves. It really takes somebody to look back at you and tell you how to do how you're doing for you to know where you're at. Um, next thing we're going to be looking at is how to use your connections. Connections can come from anywhere. They can be old family friends. They can be somebody you just sat next to at a restaurant. They can be somebody you're listening to. Use as much as you can. Always ask questions. Even if the person isn't in your field, they may know somebody or they may have they may have worked in your field at some point. Connections can be everything. Um, Um, what the company wants from you. If they just want experience and maybe paid or unpaid, 
the internet connection um, to know more people, to actually get that experience that you want in your field. Um, money doesn't trump knowledge because they may pay you, but if you don't learn anything, then what's the whole point of it, that internship? So always make sure that maybe an unpaid internship may not be just give you that experience, but that experience may later on give you a uh, six-figure uh, job. So next we're going to talk about internships and attitudes. Um, as an intern, you're the lowest of the low. Sometimes you're getting paid, sometimes you're not getting paid. You're doing what they don't want to do. So basically, you're going to be getting the, the grunt work. Don't complain about it. You're starting from the beginning. The knowledge about how it works from the lowest to the, to the top is what gets people far. So it may just seem like, oh, I don't want to do this. This is busy work. But that little stuff, if you know how it works from the smallest point and you get up to the manager's position, then you're going to have a better knowledge of how to make everything work better. Um, always have a positive outlook on it. Like I said, even if you think this is the worst thing ever, it's going to get better. You're going to be able to use that knowledge for something a lot more than just an intuition. Um, you always want to stay in touch with who you're working for. Even if it was for eight weeks, you had a two-month internship, Always go back to that, to your boss, talk to them. Maybe you didn't like them when you were working for them, but now after you're done, you kind of understand their point of view or they understand yours. Just keep in touch with everybody that you work with. It's always good to have connections. Um, always be punctual. If it's an internship, you want to put your best foot forward. You always be 10 minutes early. If you're not 10 minutes early, then you're late. That's going to put a great, uh, like note in their mind that even if you weren't getting paid for it, you still made it your responsibility. So let's see what you were going to do when we do decide to pay you for it. Let's see how your responsibilities are going to change, how we're going to get better. Next thing we're going to talk about is dress attire. Every job is different. So every job is going to have a different uh, set of clothing that you're going to wear. However, the main part to get into or to figure this stuff out is going to be during the interview. You always ask whoever you're interviewing, what, what does this job entail? What am I going to be doing? What do I have to wear? They will give you, whether you're a chef, they'll give you your robes, or if they're going to be a doctor, they're going to give you your scrubs. The kind of universal workplace outfit for uh, anybody that has, doesn't have a specific uniform that they have to wear, is always going to be dress up pants and a button down shirt. You don't want to go into jeans and Nikes going into a work. It looks very unprofessional. And when you don't look professional, you're not going to do your most professional work. How you dress is how you act. The next thing we're going to talk about is making connections. While you're in your Because many internships do hire after the process, so 
smaller company or something like that. And will they offer you a job? Many internships will offer you a job after your internship uh, time, but at the same time, others will not. It's all depending on your attitude, your punctuality, your work ethic, all that. It all comes into consideration. How long is the internship for? You know, four or something like Thank you. 